Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of my life, and I'll dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Psalms 23 and 6. Goodness and mercy. Amen. That's what I need. Hallelujah. Our mission statement is to win the world for Jesus Christ, the godly influence. Our verse of the day is Philippians 2 and 13. It says, For God is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases Him. Amen. Amen. It's in the book. All you got to do is read it. Amen. I'll ask you to pray for my wife, Miss Brenda. Uh, she had vertigo and she's dizzy and throwing up this morning, so she wasn't feeling good. And Lindsay also, my baby girl, both of them stayed home, so pray for them. That God will raise them back up. I prayed the prayer of faith and I cried over a little bit this morning. I know she's going to be okay. Uh, pray for Sister Jackie Shipman. Uh, she's in the hospital, and she's going to have surgery on her heart, I believe, Tuesday. Monday. Monday. Yeah. I've heard Monday and Tuesday. It's one or the other. Uh, her mom would just say Tuesday. Tuesday? Okay. Uh, so y'all remember her and pray for her. Uh, pray for all the sick and all the ones that ain't here. And pray for our service this morning. Let me read this bulletin to you. I really love it. This, this bulletin right here is just about to preach. It says, God is on your side. God is on your... Everybody please God's on your side. Raise your hand. He's on our side. Amen. God loves you. No matter what you're going to face this next week, you're not going to face it alone. God is with you. He's in you and He's for you. God is working in you. The word working in Greek is the word... Energos, E-N-E-R-G-O-S, Energos in the Greek, which we get the word energy. God is the energy driver in your life. Amen. The Holy Ghost can come on. If you feel like, I mean horrible, down in the dump, depressed, sick, whatever, it don't matter. If the Holy Ghost comes on you, He can raise you up instantaneously. Fear, sickness, Dread, disease, Holy Ghost can take that. Amen. One second. Amen. Amen. That's the God that I serve. Amen. Amen. God is the energy driver in your life. You're not just going on willpower. You're not just going on your own power. God says He will give you the power you need no matter what you're facing. Amen. Right. Not only is He in you, He is with you. The Bible says... I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you on that day. You will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Amen? Amen. That's quite a promise. The Bible says Christ is in you. The Bible says you're hid with Christ in God. And the Bible says you're sealed with the Holy Spirit till the Amen. day of redemption. Amen? Amen? You belong to Jesus. You're sealed forever. Amen. Glory. Yeah, give God a hand clap of praise. He's worthy. Glory. That means for the devil to get to you, he's got to get through the Trinity. Right. Through God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. That's a pretty good protection. That is a great fear reliever. Not only is God with you and in you, God is also for you. Romans 8 31 says, If God is for us, who can be against us? <coughs> Amen. When a shepherd leads a sheep, there are always guard dogs at the back nipping at the sheep to keep them moving in the right direction. The Bible says that the guard dogs in your life are goodness and mercy. If God gives you the things you don't deserve, that's His goodness. Right. And He doesn't give you the things you do deserve, that's His mercy. Right. Amen? Amen. You ever feel the smile of God in your life? If you don't, you don't really know God. Some people think God is like the angry parent who's mad at them all the time. No, no, no. God's not mad at you. God's for you. Amen. God's got your back. Amen. If you want to be happy, you need to get up every morning and say, God, thank you that you're going to be with me today, that you're going to be in me today, and that you're going to be for me today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Isn't that great news? If God is with you, and God is in you, and God is for you, what in the world are you doing being depressed? I'm too blessed. 
to be depressed or stressed. Amen? If God be for you, who can't be against you? Give him one more hand clap. Y'all stand up with me and we'll go to the good Lord in prayer. Uh, remember all the sick folks. And you may know some and I don't know about. We'll, we'll just pray for everybody. Pray for our families. We're standing on the word of God for salvation for all of them. Amen. Amen. Y'all pray with me. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, I bow down before you humbly, God. ask you to touch and anoint every person that's sick. Lord, we lift them up to you, God. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. We honor you. We love you, Lord. Bless the service this morning. Bless the preaching, the teaching, the singing, everything that's done here, God. Let it be anointed by your Holy Ghost power, God. Bless and anoint and let every person receive from your bountiful blessings and your supplies, God. Let them feel better when they leave than when they come, God. Bless them and anoint them and strengthen them. Let them feel your Holy Ghost power. Touch them and anoint them, God, right now in the, in the name of Jesus. We indeed invite the Holy Ghost into this house. All God's people said, Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Brother Ethan. Come on. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise Amen. in this house this morning. Amen. Sister Stephanie, she's going to do our praise and worship this morning. Come on up here. Give her a great big hand. Amen. 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 We do have children's church this morning and nursery available. I want to let you know about that in the AM service. A special thank you to all of our uh, nursery workers and our church, children's church attendants. Let's give them a hand clap of appreciation this morning. I'd also like to say thank you, uh, welcome to each and every one of you here this morning. And remember that the uh, altars are always open if you need prayer, if you want to come down here and worship, obey the Holy Ghost. I want you to come back out this evening at 6 p.m. Brother uh, Perry Smith's going to be ministering the Word. We look forward to hearing from him. He's very anointed and very studied up. So come back out tonight at 6 p.m. Expecting a great move of the Holy Spirit. Tuesday, April 4th. Stand up, wait, stand up, Perry. Yes. Well, everybody see this brother. It's brother Perry Smith. Amen. <laughs> We love this little brother. He's filled with the Holy Ghost. I encourage you to come back tonight. We'll have a good time on Sunday night, and we're missing a whole lot of people on Sunday night. Amen? I'm asking you to come out and support these preachers on Sunday night. I promise you'll get blessed. Glory to God. Amen? All of them well-read men of God. Studied up, prayed up, filled up. Amen. Tuesday, April 4th at 7 p.m. is the next Overcomers Outreach Meetings. Uh, if you know anybody struggling with hurts, habits, or hang-ups, that's what these four on Tuesday nights. They'll pray with you. They'll talk with you. And they won't say nothing to anybody. They won't go outside these four walls. So come out on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. We have intercessory prayer and Bible study. We have two prayer groups, the men and women of valor. We have uh, in-depth Bible study teachings on uh, spiritual warfare to help enrich your prayer life. And also we uh, had a great time in prayer. This past week we had a very special service. It was very unique. We had a joint prayer session between both the men and women of valor. We did some teachings from the scriptures uh, talking about getting rid of our burdens and give them to the Lord and we wrote them down on, on paper and we took them outside prayed over and burnt them and gave them to the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's a very unique time. Amen. And let me tell you something. I can tell you that God's really moving here in this church. I can see it firsthand. And Wednesday night following service, uh, everybody had pretty much had left. The Holy Spirit kind of hit my heart and, and laid something specific on my heart because I've been praying specifically about some areas of ministry to kind of pull back from and to uh, specifically let some other people take over the reins of it because of, you know, the, just the level of things going on. And the Holy Spirit basically told me not to do that and to stick strong with it. And uh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to follow the leading of the Holy Ghost. Amen. As long as this whole physical body will hold up, I'm going to do everything I can for the Lord. I want to encourage each and every one of you to come out on Wednesday nights, so no matter what age group you are. This upcoming week, we got something brand new starting up called the Fireflies, and it's for youth ages uh, 4 through 12. It's for boys and girls, and this is going to be a young children's thing we're going to be having on Wednesday night called the Fireflies. God is doing a new thing on Wednesday nights. Beginning Wednesday night, April 12th, we're going to be starting a new youth ministry right here at City View. The Fireflies are, are to let your light shine for Jesus. They're going to have a light dinner to be served to the children. It's going to be age-appropriate Bible study, crafts, and more. God is already moving on Wednesday nights to the men and women of valor. If you need a midweek blessing and want to depart from the mighty move of God doing in our church, come out on Wednesday nights for one night of intercessory prayer, great Bible study, bring your children and be a part of the Fireflies Youth Group. I'm going to ask these people to please stand as I read these names off. 
Sister Brooke McLeroy, please stand. Is she here? She's not here. Sister Jean Cantrell, I know you will, please. Please stand. <laughs> Sister Caitlin Mathis Amen. and Sister Shelby Rogers. These are going to be our youth leaders for the young Fireflies, ages 4 through 12. Boys and girls, every Wednesday night at 7. Each of these are prayed up and they love children. And we would love if you to come out and be a part of Wednesday night service. I left this past Wednesday night. I come in sicker than a dog, physically. I really was. And anybody that came in here Wednesday night knew that. But I left feeling like I had been to Pentecost. Amen. The Holy Spirit was so strong in this place Wednesday night. God is in this church. Amen. And I feel Him here this morning. So let's go ahead and let's just do something a little bit different this morning. Let's go ahead and stand up. And I don't normally do this because I don't normally just take up the offer this morning. But I want you to take just a minute and just lift your hands to the Lord this morning. Amen. And thank Him for what He's brought you through Amen. this week. Our God is able. Amen. We take up an offering to give it to the Lord according to Scripture. But the Bible says to bring a sacrifice of praise to the house of God this morning. He's able. Amen. He's able more and abundantly able to take care of everything Amen. that you've got this morning. Amen. Let's give Him a hand of praise. Amen. Amen. Currently, the food pantry is needed is soap and shampoo, so if you do, do anything toward that, help us out. Sunday, April 9th is Pack a Pew Sunday. Let's fill the house of God up for the glory of God. Amen. Let's bring literally everybody we can round up. We're going to have special musical guests to lead worship, Heartline, in the 11 a.m. service, and we're going to have a great move of the Holy Spirit. Sister Mary Harmon asked us to have a Pack a Pew Sunday. I don't think she's in here right now. But next Sunday is Palm Sunday. So it's going to be Palm Sunday Pack a Pew Day. All right? That means everybody you know is going to get invited to church Amen. on Palm Sunday. They all come together on that day. Amen? We're all, we're believing God for all of our families. Amen? Reach out to them. Pack a Pew Sunday, next Sunday. Call somebody. Amen. Invite somebody. Amen? Well, I ask our ushers to come forward and we'll receive the offer this morning as we get ready to worship the Lord in our giving as well as our praise and worship this morning. I know this morning that He can do anything. I know from experience personally that God is in this house, God is on this ministry, and God is operating in your life this morning. Brother Ken, I'll get you set up listening to this morning offer. Amen.
your victory this morning, you've got to give God the praise that's due to Him. So if you will this morning, stand to your feet one more time. Let's lift up those holy hands to the Lord our God this morning. For He is worthy of our praise. And let's give God the best good God praise we can give Him. Yeah. Let's see you church this morning. Come on with me. Jesus, you are worthy. Yeah. One more time.
Amen. The sermon title this morning is Go Out and Possess the Land. Amen. Possess the land. Let's bring our people, our land, back to God. Amen. We're going to get them. Amen. We're on a mission. Amen. Next Sunday is Palm Sunday. It's Pack a Pew Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday, Pack a Pew. We want to invite everybody you know. All your friends and loved ones. All the sinner people you know that Amen. need to be saved. They need to be here. Amen. So let's go out and invite folks. Pack a pew Sunday. Amen. My text verse is in Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. If you'll open your Bibles and go there. These people had the victory. I'm sure they were sad they were hurt. Their leader, Moses, had just died. In Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 7, it says, just set the stage for you here. And Moses was 120 years old. He's 120, I'm 65, that means I'm middle-aged. <laughs> Amen? When he died, his eyes was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Amen? Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, I think about Brother Ridley. When you shake his hand, it's like shaking hands with a vice. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. He still had his strength with him. You know, nobody knows where they buried Moses. The verse up above that says he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab over against Bethpor. But no man knoweth of his sepulcher unto this day. Amen. My text verse, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. Go out, possess the land. These people got the victory. Amen. God's raised up another prophet, Joshua, to lead them. Amen. This book of the law, Joshua chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law, y'all listen with your spiritual ears this morning. Amen. Get in tune with God this morning. Amen. God, I ask you to bless and anoint this word right now, God. I ask you to touch it, season it, God. God, let these folks receive a blessing from your word. God, from the, the bountiful supply, God, you supply all our needs, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless this word. Bless this congregation, God. Let them receive this. Take it down, down deep in their hearts, God. We praise you. We honor you. We bless you. Please bless this word, God. In the name of Jesus, amen. This book of the law shall not depart out of my mouth. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Read the book in the morning, at noonday, at night time. Yeah. Read it whenever you can. Meditate on it. Ponder on Jesus. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Mm -hmm. And then thou shalt have good success. Amen. I'm speaking that over every one of y'all. You'll be prosperous. If somebody say, I receive it. You'll have good success in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just go back up to the first verse. Same book, Joshua. We're going to read a little bit here. We're going to camp out here just a little bit. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise. Go over this Jordan. Thou and all this people unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. You remember God stopped the mighty raging Russian river for them to cross on dry land. God can do that. He can do miracles for you. Amen. Ain't nothing too hard for God. Nothing is too hard for God. Woo! No spirit cannot be conquered by God. Amen. Every spirit will be conquered by him. Amen. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Amen. Hallelujah. Close your eyes, man. You want to see folks saved. You want to see people saved. You want to see your family saved. Your cousins, your uncles, your aunts, your brothers, your mamas, your daddies. Just close your eyes and see them. Watch them come to the altar and bow down. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Watch them all bow down. The whole altar's full now. Woo, the Holy Spirit of God is saving people, touching people, healing people. In the name of Jesus, we give Him thanks and praise. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for all them people that's going to come. Amen. Amen. See your vision. 
Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. He's got you back. Amen. Oh, Moses said, Who shall I say sent me? Tell him, I am sent you. Yeah. I am sent me. I am sent all of y'all. Amen. Amen. From the wilderness in this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, and all the land, the Hittites, and unto the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. They fixing to possess their land. Amen. These people fixing to be victorious. Yes. This is the end of a 40-year journey. They wandered in the desert for 40 years. Uh -huh. They're fixing to go into the promised land. I'm telling you this morning. You get right with God, you can go into the promised land. Amen? You make things right with Him and you can be in the promised land. So sweet day. Amen? Possess your land. To possess is to get back. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I'll be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Amen. God's encouraging him. He's encouraging you this morning. Be strong, all of y'all. This is to you. Be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people thou shalt divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. He's promising you an inheritance. He's promising you a holy land, a holy place. He's promising you heaven. Amen. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand. Don't get off course. Stay on course. Stay focused. Don't let nothing turn you to the right or to the left. Amen. Keep your eyes on the mark of the prize of the high calling in Jesus Christ. Keep focused on Jesus. He'll bring you through. He'll pull you through. Amen. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book, my text verse, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Man, you can look at the human race. And how the judicial system is set up. It all comes from right here. The Ten Commandments is the base of the judicial system in America. They took it out of the courthouse, but it's the base. Right. It's where all of that comes from. The whole judicial system. Amen. The whole way the human civilization works is right here. It's in God's plan. Amen. One man, one woman. Hallelujah. Right. Marriage. Right. It's holy estate. Amen. Amen. This book of the law shall not depart out of the mouth, thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then shalt thou have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Amen. You know, as a pastor and as a child of God, a lot of things come up against you. Yeah. Tries to tear you down, tries to discourage you, tries to make you quit, yeah. tries to make you try another lifestyle. Amen. Uh -huh. My God will see you through. Yes. If you'll cling to His hand, I promise He'll see you through. Amen. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Amen. Wherever you go, God's with you. Amen. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Get up. We're going. We're moving. Amen. When it's time to go to church on Sunday morning, get up. Get ready. We're moving. Amen. What if you come to church one morning and Jesus came back that morning? Think we'd have a meeting that morning? Amen. Think they'd be speaking in tongues and running around this place and swinging from the chandeliers. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. 
Get ready. Get up. Pass through the host and command the people, saying, Prepare your victuals. Get ready. For within three days you shall pass over this Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it. All your people, all your relatives, all your friends, that land, those people, those hearts. Amen? He's encouraging you to get ready to get up and go get them. Amen? And to the Reubenites and to the Gadites and to half the tribe of Manasseh spake Joshua saying, Remember the word which Moses, the servant of the Lord, commanded you saying, The Lord your God hath given you rest and hath given you this land. You're sealed by God. Focus on the promises, not the problems. Focus on the promises, not the problems. Amen. Go on with me to uh, Ephesians chapter 4. <clears throat> the older I get, the more I see and the more I understand things in the Bible and the way the world operates. And there's no way that you can't believe this is how we all got to where we are. That's right. It's from this teaching, right. from this, this standard of living right here. This is what holds civilization together. Yeah. Amen. Ephesians 4, verse 30. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed until the day of redemption. Amen. Your promise is sealed by God himself. He put the stamp of approval. He's put the amen on you. Amen. You're all covered by the blood of the Lamb. Through that blood that was shed on the cross, you're saved by grace. Amen. And you're sealed. Somebody say, I'm sealed. Amen. I am sealed to the day of redemption. Amen. Amen. Drop on down to verse 32. And be ye kind to it, one another, tenderhearted, Forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. Amen. Don't matter what you've done, God can forgive you. Amen. Amen. Don't matter what's in your heart that ain't right, God can take it out. Amen. God can take it out. Amen. Uh, he turned me around. I was 100% sinner. I was as far from the east as the west to God. Amen. And he got me and he broke my heart. He busted it up like a big sledgehammer on a rock. Broke me down. I went running to the altar and asked God to forgive me and I ain't never been the same. Amen? Amen. <laughs> I hope he's done the same for you because I feel like I never can repay him no matter what I do. Amen? And I know that my God is with me. Amen? Amen. We'll go to Proverbs chapter 8. Amen. He knew your spirit. 
before it's joined with your body. That's the God that I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. Woo! Holy Ghost, help me. Here I am, sweet Jesus. Amen. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Proverbs Amen. chapter 8. I'm about finished here. I like a little bit. Chapter 8, verse 17. This is what the Lord says. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Amen. You got a problem? Seek the problem solver. I talked about Jesus. Amen. Listen to this. Riches and honor are with me. Yea, durable riches and righteousness. Amen. Righteousness. You can't put a price on that. Uh -uh. It's unpriceable. There's no price for righteousness. Amen. His fruit. My fruit is better than gold. Yea, than fine gold and my revenue than choice silver. It's valuable to know God. It's valuable for your spirit man to know God. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. You put things in order. You put your priorities in order and you put God first in your life and watch him go. You just let go and let God. Amen. I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasures. It's a promise. Amen. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning or ever the earth was. Amen? God spoke the earth into existence. I believe this book, I believe every page, every verse, every scripture. And he's promised us a home in heaven. And I'm telling you today to possess that. To grab hold of that and don't let it go. Don't let nothing deter you from the promised land. Because we're going there one day. We're going to be a church in heaven one day. Amen. Amen. Go on down to verse, drop down to 32. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways, all of his commandments. Yeah. Listen to this. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. That means take heed. If all the people in your life, they're a lot older and a lot wiser than you and lived a lot longer than you, and they're giving you advice, and it's godly advice. You better listen. You better take heed. Amen. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. For blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. Amen. For whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Amen. I'm speaking that over every one of you. For whosoever findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's possess our land. Let's possess our people. Let's take back what the enemy has stole from us. Amen. Let's be a fighting, warring army for God. Amen. For God. In the spiritual realm. Amen. Pray in your closet of prayer beside your bed, in your car. In your bathroom, in your shower, wherever. Pray. Pray for your people. Pray for the ones that you know are lost. Pray for the ones that are sick. God raise them back up. He'll, he can heal them and save them in the twinkling of an eye. Amen. Yeah. The God that I serve can do that. Amen. Amen. Go out. Possess the land. Bring our people back. Bring them back. Amen. I'm encouraging you this morning to do that. And I'm encouraging you next Sunday, it will be Palm Sunday, 
pack a few Palm Sunday. Following that is Holy Week. The next Sunday will be Easter Resurrection morning. So get your heart and your mind on God. This is, this is God's time. Yeah. This will be God's time to shine for the whole world to remember what he did for them. That's right, amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Thank Brother Eric Howard is our altar this morning. And I just saw him walking down the hall. Amen. <laughs> oh, Lord. Anybody want to testify? It's been good to be in God's house. Yes, ma'am. Amen. I'm glad to see y'all this morning. Amen. We've had a car issue. Our engine blew up in our car. And, you know, like he said, when you see no way, I made a way. And he made a way. And Brother Nathan's not here this morning, but he had spoke over me the last day we were in church. And he said, we've been praying that God provide you with a car. Amen. And I said, or just use the one we got. I'm satisfied with the one we had. I said, I just, it just needs a new engine. And he said, well, we're praying for the car. And I said, Tuesday around 9 o'clock, 9 or almost 10 o'clock is what it was, I got a phone call from my neighbor. She had ended up with two new cars that she couldn't pay for because there was no cool-off period for the first one. It wasn't big enough. She needed someone to take that payment. The payments were for $243 a month for a 2016 holiday. And Lord's provided that car for us. It sits outside. And we're here this morning. The first thing Honey said was, now we can get back to church. Amen.
Y'all sing words on your heart. You need prayer? Come and pray.
He had taken the power of the devil over us. Taking our power over ourselves, which was sin. When we said that we can't, I just can't help myself. Jesus said, we can Amen. Easter is the foundation of our faith. Amen. I did it. I've been a Christian all this time. I didn't even know that. I didn't realize. Death saved you. Amen. But when he rose again, Boy. when he rose again, Boy. he had everything to take us to heaven. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everything to save you from yourself. Yes. If you have nothing else to praise God about. You can praise God that Jesus rose from the dead. Yeah. And that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Woo! We have everything in the world jumping up, shouting, yeah. doing somersaults because we are saved by the Son of God. He is the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. The more I do the cross study, it took me to the book of Revelation. He got all power. His name. Amen. Book of Revelation it took me to the way it said, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh yeah. That Jesus is Lord. The devil has no power but that that you give him. Because Jesus defeated him. If you give your heart to Jesus, if he is your Lord and Savior, if you're saved, you're filled with the Holy Ghost. You got the power of the resurrection living in you. Amen. Amen. Power resurrection. Woo. Amen. We shouldn't be living to be alive. We shouldn't be. I mean, Easter is coming up. I mean, there are some cultures, some countries. Oh, it's a national thing. Over here, we act like it's Easter. I'm going to buy me a dress and I'm going to go to church. I'm going to see you. Uh -huh. No. We need to live every day like it's Easter. Amen. Every day. Amen. Because without Him, Rising out of that grave with all power, just like him, doesn't mean anything. Give God a hand. Sure. He found that he, he made a few quotes from me. Came to me when they were. What the Easter got to do with God? And you know, I think everything. Somebody, you know, you know Jesus. Ain't That's right. right. Amen. Brother Harold, you want to come up here and say this missile prayer? <clears throat> y'all come back. Y'all come back tonight. We have church on Sunday night. We've been missing a lot of y'all, so we're going to see a whole bunch of folks here tonight. Brother Harry won't preach. We're going to have a Holy Ghost meeting, I promise. Amen. Where's your heart? Let's bow our heads, please. Dear Heavenly Father, as we come before you, God, I want to thank you, God, for another day. I thank you, God, for watching out over our feet and every one of us, God. I ask you, God, to open our hearts up, God, and be with us, God, at all times, God. Touch all the lost souls, touch all the sickness. You are the healer. We ask you, Father, to be with us and stay with us in our hearts, God. Remain with us in our hearts, God. We thank you, God. We honor you, God. We praise you, God. Thank you, Father, for being in our life today, God. Amen. I ask you, Father, to touch everyone in the world, God. Touch all the lost souls, God. It don't matter where everybody's at. Anywhere. Fill us up, God. Touch us, God. Be with us, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Shake hands, somebody. I heard somebody's name for me. And I'm letting you, darling.